Probably shouldn't do this, but I wanna see how it looks, so let's do it anyways. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Tyler Casey. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about those DIY anamorphic lens flares. Anamorphic lens flares, people love them. They have a super unique look, that long horizontal flare that goes across the screen. You get these from anamorphic lenses, but anamorphic lenses are expensive. Today, I'm gonna to give you guys three different options on how to get DIY anamorphic lens flares, and then I'll even show you a quick way that you guys can do them in post with a free pack of ours at the very end. So I'm gonna be testing this out on my GH5S. I'm currently filming on the Sony. Uh, this is my super unorganized gear lens closet type thing. So I have the GH5 right here, and uh, I think I'm gonna test it on a few different lenses, but uh, this right here is the Rokinon 85 millimeter. First way to get DIY anamorphic lens flares. It's kind of weird and it's definitely unorthodox is basically just smudging your lens. So literally, I'm gonna clean my lens. I have a lens cloth right here. And I'm just gonna clean it like that. And then I'm just gonna take some oil from my hand. I can even touch my forehead if I want. And I'm just gonna smudge that straight down on my lens, making a nice, let's see if we can see it. I'll get a better focusing shot, but you can see I basically just smudged the middle of my lens. And you might be thinking that's a little weird. It's not good for the lens. This is an older lens, so I don't really care. You could do that on a UV filter. The effect is actually quite amazing just for smudging the front of your lens. And you pretty much get an anamorphic type flare. Your flares definitely go horizontal when you smudge it, which is pretty crazy. I'm gonna be comparing these three different types. I'm gonna be comparing the smudge lens effect uh, which is completely free. All you need is the oil from your hands. Uh, the second method, I'm gonna try our screw-on filter. You could screw onto the front of your lens. It's about 50 bucks. Uh, really cheap option for to make everything flare in your scene. And then I'm also gonna try the fishing line, which is basically where you tape a fishing line wire from top to bottom, uh, which is another really cheap option. All you need is some fishing wire. And lastly, I'm gonna throw in the Siru anamorphic lenses to show you what those crazy flares look like on an actual anamorphic lens, which is like the most expensive option and they're even cheaper lenses, which is about 700 bucks or so. So let's check it out. So you can see before I smudge my lens and the flare's normal, I go to smudge it and then we instantly get an anamorphic flare. So one thing uh, to help you get more or less flare is stopping down or opening up. When you're at a low f-stop, you're gonna get a lot more flares on any lens. So you can see it actually works pretty good. Here's another example. Uh, it might take you a few tries. You might have to clean your lens and try it again to get a perfect straight down streak because then it might go in different directions. But this is a pretty simple effect and it doesn't look half bad it's kind of similar to when you have some grease on your phone screen and you take a video on your iPhone next I'm gonna be testing out our clear streak filter and seeing how it compares to the lens smudge anamorphic lens and the fishing string it's 77 millimeter this is 72 so I'm actually gonna use one of our step up rings and I'm gonna screw that onto the front of my lens and I'll show you guys how this filter works. The cool thing is you can actually rotate it so you could get uh, different types of streaks, uh, kind of like some of these examples here. Uh, the most recent example I've seen is actually on the Super Bowl with uh, the weekend and they actually did vertical streaks, which is kind of unorthodox, but it actually looks super cool. Um, so this is our filter right here. This is the box. I'll show you guys kind of like what it looks like on the back of it. Uh, it has some recommendations, recommended for medium and long focal lengths. And then you wanna use a uh, low f-stop. Let's see if I get that to focus. Look at that, Sony autofocus, guys. This is why I switched to Sony. And it's not too hot right there. Come on now, it's cause my face is in it. There we go. Boom, all right, sick. So we're gonna pull that out. Uh, comes with a, look at that cute little lens cloth. Branding on point, look at that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw this onto the front. And then what we wanna do is we wanna line it up so we're getting those flares. And you can line it up either vertically or horizontally for the lens flares. So excuse the mess behind me, I got all sorts of crazy stuff going on here. Have it clean my office in a minute. But the cool thing about this is, or it's kind of more interesting than cool, is when uh, I have the lines going horizontal, the flare goes vertically. When I turn it vertical, uh, we get the street going straight across. So the cool thing about this is even if you wanted to, you could like do diagonal lens flares if you wanted to, or you can do uh, the classic horizontal. So right now we just have 
those lines perfectly vertical on the screen. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So you could definitely get those vertical uh, lens flares like we saw in uh, the weekend performance on the Super Bowl, which has a really unique different look to it, which we haven't seen, but we might be seeing it more after that performance. So I think where this filter shines is it has a lot cleaner of a streak. It definitely goes straight across the frame and it reacts with any light source. So one thing that I do know personally because I've tested our own filter is I've taken it out. I'll show a quick example shot of how awesome this filter looks in the right settings. Uh, definitely a smudge on the lens isn't gonna react that much to all the lights in the scene, but our filter does catch all the lights coming into the scene and offer some really cool looks. I'm gonna take some of this gaff tape so we can tape it on, and then I can do like some pans left and right to see how it looks. So I feel like I might need thicker string because I was holding it in front and the effect I'm getting isn't that cool. Um, so let's see, it's very subtle. Um, maybe if I open up my lens a little bit more, it's definitely a lot more subtle than the uh, smudge lens effect. Uh, but it is nice, so we can test it a little bit more with some more intense lights. So the interesting thing about the fishing line is even after I pan away, we're still getting that flare even off screen. So the last test that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use an anamorphic lens. I have these lenses here from Siriu, and they sent me these a while ago, and I actually did a video on them. I'll link those below. Here they are. I have the 35 and the 50. I think I'm gonna try the 50. Uh, it's actually smaller than the 35, which is interesting. Super cool lenses. They work on micro four thirds. They also work on E-mount, but these are the micro four thirds versions. So the cool thing about these lenses here is that they're actually really cheap compared to other anamorphic lenses. Let's pop that lens cap off. Really cool looking lens. So we're gonna test those lens flares. They're really nice, but this is also like a seven, $800 lens, which is cheap, but not as cheap as a screw on filter or uh, smudging oil from your finger on the front of your lens, but let's check it out. So right off the bat, you can see how crazy the anamorphic flare looks. It definitely has a unique lens flare compared to the other options. Uh, this is de this is definitely a cheaper option of lenses. Uh, like I said, there's really expensive anamorphic lenses out there. This is a really cool option for seven, eight hundred dollars uh, to actually have it in lens. Each DIY method has its own look and has its own place where it can be used. Definitely the lens smudge is super easy and convenient if you want that quick, nasty lens flare. And if you wanted it vertical, uh, kind of like that weekend example that I showed, uh, you could easily just wipe your lens left to right and get the same effect. So I really like that method because it's quick, it's easy. You can even use it with a UV filter if you don't want to get your lens all oily because I know that can mess up the coating and what uh, the fishing wire is okay I didn't get it that intense maybe I need more thick fishing wire uh, the one that I had was pretty thin so that can maybe work if you have some more fishing wire but I wasn't too happy with the results our filter is definitely like the cleanest I felt like uh, it really just creates a nice horizontal flare throughout and then obviously the anamorphic lens uh, the Siriu has a beautiful flare and even just like the compression when you add the black bars it looks really solid and it's definitely one of the best looks but Shooting on anamorphic is expensive and there's some other drawbacks to it. We also have a free pack for anamorphic lens flares that you can just overlay on your footage like this and boom, you have your own anamorphic lens flares just like this. So you guys can download that for free in our Cinepacks and I'll link the video with the full tutorial on how to use them and how to download them. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think, if you guys would use this method or not. I definitely have used the lens smudge method before in a pinch and I've also used our filter obviously. If you guys want to pick up a clear streak filter, use promo code LENS10, I'll give you guys $10 off on the checkout. If you guys want to support us, that'd be really cool. If not, just keep rubbing oil on the front of your lens and you're going to get some really cool streaks just from doing that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I forgot about this old trick, so I wanted to share it with you guys. I definitely like the fishing line one as well. All really solid tricks. See, I'm going to be dropping a video on why I switched to the Sony a7S III soon. I've been meaning to do it. I've just been really busy with Cinepax and all that other stuff. So, that's coming soon, so look forward to that, guys. I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepax. I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to comment down below. Peace.